Friday afternoon for basketball here on 2K Sports. Alongside Hall of Famers Doris Burke and Grant Hill, I'm Brian Anderson, Allie LaForce on the sidelines. We'll see the Indiana Pacers facing the Indiana Pacers. So a look at the starters for the Pacers. Back to Halliburton. Pass to Neesmith. Kicks it out to Siakam. Six on the shot clock. Unloads. The rebound by Hibbert. And this is a shot he can definitely make, and the defense not a factor at all. Oh, and the dunk by George! Now, Paul George is an exceptional athlete and demonstrating his insane dunking skills there. <laughs> Get this guy in the dunk competition. Now, here's Halliburton. Turner passes to Demar. The free ball. It's rebounded by Indiana. First quarter of play, a minute in. Hill against Halliburton. Pass to George. And the jam by George. Well, we've seen this over the course of George Hill's career. So savvy, finding the open man. Halliburton for three. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. Hill against Halliburton. Here's Hibbert. Pass to George from the arc. Offensive rebound. Here's West. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. And even from where we're sitting, you could clearly tell it was a foul. Shooting for Indiana. David West taking two shots. First free throw is good. And he makes both free throws. Here's Nimhart. Indiana foul. Paul George. First personal foul. First team foul. And the first one at the line is good. Andrew Nemhard, two shots. Good on both. Hill with it. About two minutes gone by in the first quarter. Now Turner. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. Shot clock at six. Puts up a deep three. Here's Hibbert. And he battles for the ball. Gets a second chance bucket. Well, you love the persistence on the offensive glass. All about effort right now. And Siakam. Here we go. It's blocked. And that'll be Indiana's ball as it goes out of bounds. Pacers able to keep the possession. Changes for Indiana. Walker, he's checked in for Turner. Toppin comes in for Pascal Siakam. And it's McConnell in for Nimhart. A minute 35 left in the opening quarter. Hill against Halliburton. That one doesn't drop. Good work defensively by Hill. Indiana leading. And the jam by George. You see an opportunity if you're Paul George, say the athleticism is still a part of who I am. About three minutes gone here in the first quarter. Top and left side. Here's Walker. The third shot of the possession finally falls for him. And setting the tempo with an assertive move, like where was the defense on that play? To me, that's a complete lack of communication on that side of the ball. These guys need to be talking to each other. CJ, when they get their opportunity to punch it inside, they don't hesitate. Here's Halliburton. Another shot, 
and he lays it in. Halliburton's made a five. That play was about great positioning for Tyrese Halliburton, able to get to the glass and send it in. Here's Hill. And that one makes him two for two. He's in his rhythm. And guys, the way this defense is getting manhandled down low, you have to wonder if they're at 100% right now. Pass to Walker. Halliburton against Hill. Back to Walker. Halliburton outside. Five on the clock. Now here's Walker. From 13. Can't get it to drop. Listen, that's a shot he can make, but obviously the defense okay letting him shoot it. And so the first quarter is in the books. The Pacers out in front, up five. And we'll be back in just a minute with the start of the second quarter. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter of action so far. All right, let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Pacers so far, guys. Well, their offense is clicking so far, capturing the momentum here early on. Boy, it's been a really pretty thing to watch, executing their game plan to perfection. They've got T.J. McConnell, Pascal Siakam out there with Miles Turner, and it's Nimhard in at the shooting guard position. That's the five for the Pacers. Here's West. Ooh, excellent D there from Turner. I'll tell you, everything went right in terms of execution. He just can't get it to go. Shepard, that's good. Well, so great when your offense produces a shot that close to the rim. The rest of the work becomes easier. George scanning the floor. Shoots from the baseline. And that one off the back of the rim and in. George has got eight. You can see it. Once this guy gets his rhythm, he is so hard to slow down. What an excellent night for him and his team. All right, let's get a report from Allie. Indiana's a team on the rise. Coach Rick Carlisle said this is a new era of Pacers basketball, a direction of youth and of going all in on a group of guys that are young, talented, and extremely high character and tremendous upside. Brian, a lot to be excited about. No question. Absolutely. Thanks, Allie. Turner, no good. Great rim protection to prevent him from converting. Beautiful. Shepard, that's good. It was a rough start for them scoring the ball, but they look like now they're really finding their rhythm and flow. Goes up with the strike. George, no good. Indiana trailing here. Here's Shepard. McConnell outside. Pass to Turner. Here's Nimhart. 13 feet out. That's good on the jumper. There's no quit in this guy. He just gives you great effort, and he continues to give you great production. George passes to Hibbert. Here's Watson. He's marked by McConnell. From 12 feet. Here's West. The rebound by Turner. The Shepard. It's deflected. And we're just over two and a half minutes into the second. It's George on the wing. Give him eight. Pass to Hibbert. With the seven footer. Can't hit. One for two now. And the Pacers with possession here. They've only given up two points this quarter. And here's McConnell. No made baskets yet. And Siakam. Here we go. Oh, the go-ahead bucket. No good. Well, we love his ability to attack the rim. He just loses a little bit of focus and misses the chippy. And George with the jam. Sometimes a player is born with a passer's mindset. He deals it with conviction. Time called here. Indiana decides to talk it over. It's now an opportunity to take a break and talk about their strategy moving forward. Well, there's something that the coach doesn't like. I'm curious to see which kind of adjustment he makes here. Substitution on the court. Nimhart. 
the chance effort. The defense there doing whatever they can to protect the rim. First personal foul. First team foul. At the line for Indiana. Andrew Nebhardt. Shooting two. That free throw, no good. And no good on the second free throw, so 0 for 2 there. This has been a close game in a lot of ways, but they do have an edge on the boards. Nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Here's Neesmith, George defending. Outside for Halliburton. Back to Toppin, pass to Smith, clock at four. Blocked! And this is what you like about Jan Mahimi defensively. He might not be the highest flyer, but big time enforcer. Paul George. Three-pointer, Halliburton. Oh, no good on the last That's second the attempt the there. The and so a close game as we wrap Pacers. up the first half of play. 15. It's the Pacers. The Pacers. They're up by 20. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. We welcome you. Paul George taking care of business in this one. He had 12 points, three rebounds, and one steal. He's been in the midst of some incredible games lately, and tonight... He's got it going again. And Kenny, what'd you think about what we saw from Indiana? Great work on the glass so far. They're hustling and showing more desire than boxing out. That's what they have to do. That's what recipe for success. How about you, Shaq? What did you think about Indiana? It's time to wake up. They came out unfocused, unmotivated, unprepared. And they show terrible field goal percentage. in that first half we saw a pretty tight battle we'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during halftime Paul George has been sensational slicing up the defense living in the lane terrific first half for him his penetration was a real problem for them and then of course the monster finishes at the cup second half underway here's who Frank Vogel's got on the floor they just look so overwhelmed inside yeah, that's why they continue to get attacked left to the wing. Siakam for three. Counted from distance. Siakam's got his first bucket of the game and he's on the board for three. Now this is the shot Siakam has worked on so hard during the course of his career. He wants to be a big time consistent weapon from three. Hill the pass to Hibbert. The Pacers pull it in. Now the Pacers on the move. Halliburton on the drive. The Pacers pull it in. West has got his fourth rebound in this one. A moment to hear from Allie LaForce. Well, Tyrese Halliburton has made a believer out of his head coach. Rick Carlisle said, quote, he is a basketball savant type of guy. People like him, like Doncic, they sense when their timing is coming. He craves the responsibility of being the franchise point guard, and he always is aware of what needs to be done. Brian? That's high praise, Allie. Thanks. Shepard. Good stuff. The Pacers making a switch here. Here's Halliburton. He's got five. Pass to Siakam. Here's Shepard. And George with some nice D. Well, you got to think better of that next time. He had little to no chance of conversion. The offensive rebound. Hill can't connect. Trying to get it going. Only one for five to start the second half. Now Siakam, here's Neesmith, Turner covers, and Neesmith gets it to go. Any possession that ends with him finishing at the rim is ideal. From 18 feet away, and it's good. Off the back of the rim and in. 
George has got 16 points. Gorgeous. That pull up jumper is simply gorgeous. Paul George rises above everyone. As to Siakam. Blocked. Turner against Turner. Turner attacking. Here's Hibbert. Tipped away. Just over two and a half minutes gone by in the second half. To the middle. In transition, here they come. Here's Turner. And there's the slam. Got to finish it off. <laughs> and this is something he does all too well. Great position for the putback here. And I like how he doesn't think twice about passing it out. Just going right for the slam. <laughs> no reason to do so there. He was going to leave no doubt. Time called here. Indiana decides to talk it over. And no doubt, Coach wants them to improve their interior defense. I think right now they're giving up way too many easy looks. That is a recipe for disaster. Pass to McConnell. And here's Toppin. McConnell with it. Just five on the clock. Rejected by George. What a defensive play from Paul George. Send it back, big fella. Here's Watson. He's marked by McConnell. Watson passes to Scola. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. Man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that foul. And he makes it first. The Pacers making a switch here. Nimhart's checked in. So he gets them both. A little under three and a half minutes off the clock now in the third quarter. Outside Walker. Paul George pulls down the board. George has got six rebounds here tonight. Well, you can use your strength and your power and a little bit of relentlessness as Young and he does. He cleans up. So it's the Indiana Pacers earning this break in the action up 10. And their defense has stood out, wreaking havoc for the opposition. Back after this. And while we have a chance, let's go to our State Farm Assist of the Game. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. And when you're the beneficiary of a pass that good, you better deliver. And he did just that. With three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store. Pascal Siakam out there with Nismith. Then there's Miles Turner. Then it's Halliburton. And it's Nimhard in at the two guard. That's the five for the Pacers. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. Here's Turner. Scola controls the rebound and the putback. And the Pacers lead by 12. What an effort to get the tip in. Just wanting it a little bit more. Here's Siakam. With the 10-footer. It's rebounded by Scola. He did everything in his power to make that a hard shot. We call that a great contest. You know this is something he brings to the table. The ability to anchor your defense. Watson passes to Turner. Here's Scola to the right side. Tries it from 19. Basket counts. And I think it takes a lot to throw George Hill off his game. He is so masterful, so under control, even with a defender in his grill. Now here's Halliburton. Defense right on him. Nimhar. Good. And full-on 
catch up mode. They're raining threes right now. Nemart's gone two of four so far tonight. And just about a minute and a half gone by in the fourth. Outside, Hill. And Turner with the block. Oh, how about the reach of Miles Turner? He covers so much ground to come up with these blocks. Big time That's effort on the glass. And when you have a touch that soft, those tip-ins are easier to make. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two Here's minutes. Watson. Pass to Scola. 51 left in the fourth. Ooh, excellent D there from Turner. Siakam right side. And the baseline jumper goes down. This is what makes Siakam special, right? The big man that can put it on the deck and get past you. What a pretty triple drive. Time called here. The Pacers decide to talk it over. They're leading by seven. 141 left to play in the fourth. And now we present our new balance player of the game, Paul George. The defense has just looked utterly lost trying to slow him down. He's consistently just getting high percentage shots because of how hard he's working. He's doing pretty much whatever he can to get open and <laughs> making the most of those opportunities. I'm telling you, the added pressure of the road really brings out the best in him. You can tell he enjoyed playing so well in front of an unfriendly crowd. A chance here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. During that break, Coach Frank Vogel had some advice for his team. He was clapping in the huddle, saying to his guys, loving the effort right now, keep the intensity on them. Leave no doubt in their mind that this game is ours. Guys, back to you. Appreciate the report, Allie. Halliburton passed to Demar. Ooh, nice D from George. And so George will bring it up for the Pacers. They've led by as many as 14. Turner. It's good. Set up beautifully by George. And now an 11 point Pacer lead. Halliburton looking over the floor. Overhill. Tries again. Turner, no good. And so it's Indiana with it. Outside, Hill. That one falls. George Hill. And the Pacers lead by 13. Stepping up and nailing an important shot to put this away. Yeah, playing with great energy and great effort. And as a coach, you'd love to see this from your team every single night. There's 37 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. George passes to Hibbert. Now here's Turner. He's guarded closely. Outside, Hill floats one, and the rebound goes to the Pacers. Shot's blocked! Now here's Turner. And so Indiana takes this one by a big margin. Boy, a nice win on the road. By the time this one was winding down, this building was stone cold silent. And that's exactly what you got to do. You have to try to take the crowd out of it. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Doris Burke, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, and all of our crew, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching this 2K Sports presentation of the NBA. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.